fields up in the woods to get a uh, log truck or dump truck out. Uh, we'll just set the ground set the it'll be fine, yeah. Uh, but I want you, I want you for a little bit, I want you out of that mud, I want you up on good road. Okay. Let's bring you over, uh, let's, I want to bring you over here at an angle like this if we can. And then uh, after you get your rig set, I'll maybe reset my rig, okay? <laughs> get him set up here we might have to reposition a couple times on this that's ah, that good there we're only gonna move about probably seven or eight feet I'm not gonna try and get too much at one shot and we might just do it a couple times but I get the rear axles up on the road then we can go around the front and start working on it okay let's get him down Just hook your hook your snap box on the cables right here anywhere, and we're gonna hook them back to the truck. I'm gonna go back here and get my back truck going here. We're gonna try and pull it away from the bank, and after we pull it away from the bank, we'll uh, we'll try and get it up on the road. It's stuffed in there pretty good. Pat's gonna pull here. I got a double line in the back. We're going to try and pull it off the bank and up on the road a little bit. That's our game plan right now. The back end was moving pretty good for us, so we should be all right. winch off Pat I think what we'll do is we'll bring both trucks around and I think what I'll do is I'll use the red truck to kick the nose over because it winches so much better we can put the red truck right we put the red truck right here and we'll, we'll eh, this truck will pick the nose up too I just don't want that back end to go back in again I hope that nose is broke clear loose. Looks like it is. Well, we got the truck up on the road. Now we have to drive on past the truck about 200 yards to a spur 
and get both trucks turned around and then we're going to use the red truck to finish winching. Get this rig going. I got to still go to Hope Wim with it, but I shouldn't take more than a couple hours to Hope Wim, about two or three hours up there and back. I almost thought about only bringing one truck up here, then I thought better of it. It was. It didn't look that bad in the pictures they sent me, but it was a lot worse when we got on scene. I thought we had a lot of room off to the right, but it actually dropped off into a crick. Winch the sides back over so we can tow it down the road. The way this thing's put on here, it's bolted and well, there's no way to get it off, so we're gonna have to just winch it over. Yeah, we'll make it so we can close the doors. And then too, isn't it? Yeah, all day. Let's go way past straight. Yeah. Well, there's where it was down the down that little creek. We got out of the creek. Now we're just gonna finish winching it out of the hole and getting out of here. Little more. All we're really doing is sliding it sideways. The hummingbird right there. Yeah, it's coming right over. I think we're gonna make our two hours. You didn't think we were going to do it, did you? <laughs> you had your doubt, well, didn't you? you? I thought, you, well, of course, I was having a hard time hearing you last night on the phone. I thought you said three hours. Or maybe that's what my boss said, was three hours. Well, I thought, nah, we're going to... And uh, Oakland, it went in the ditch worse than this. Yeah. And uh, it was there five days. They sent three records down there couldn't touch it. Really? They had a heck of a time on them. <laughs> uh, of course, that was back up in that neck of the woods this last weekend, Friday or Saturday. Let me go, I gotta get oh, these okay. guys. Hey guys, can we get to the other side of the axle? Yeah. Okay, let's go underneath that, grab the other side of the axle and really get a big kick on this front end. If we get a, if we get a big kick, we'll be up on the road and out of here. Where are you going with that? Are you trying to fix it? Are you trying to fix this truck? Yeah. You gonna drive it home? Yep. You wanna walk? Hey guys, hang on a minute. Look right here. Dig this dirt out of here. We could probably just grab that sucker. That should be strong. If I get, don't get off the road too far, I'll have you back up and I'll back in here and get it. those axles loose did it is that axle still on the other side yeah I can't believe it that oyster truck got busted up worse than this well we're loaded up and headed out of the woods yeah I couldn't have done that without the Kenworth it uh it, it, it had a little winching power. It can dig those baits in, so it made it where I could have could have could have uh, been a real pickle without that truck here to help out. About three more miles to go, and we'll be off of uh, off of Del Creek. Really, the roads aren't all that steep, but uh, I'm being a little conservative with this much weight behind me. Uh, I'm just taking it easy coming out. <laughs> 